All right, so welcome to Dimension. I am Benjamin Oche. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining and let's get into the class. So in this particular session, I'm going to be teaching you how to build a portfolio that converts to sale. A good portfolio that sells you. Somebody recently sent me a message today asking me how can you get clients as a designer. So one of the key things I told him was creating a great portfolio. I'm going to expand more on that subject. And I'm going to tell you why your portfolio is important, how you can design it, and then I have a big information at the end of the class. So stay to the end. The reason why many graphic designers don't actually get some jobs that they reach out to is not because they're not qualified. Uh, in my few experience as a as an HR person or recruiting for designers, I've seen that many designers are looking for money, but they don't know how to, how to position themselves to get that money now because we are looking for money it's it's it creates this assumption to prioritize money over the value that we offer let me explain so because of the fact that many of us want to get money we don't pay attention to the key things that are actually important that will bring that money we focus on the money over the value that we have so the 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 focus causes us to to prioritize anything we just do we just do it we don't pay attention to it i've been privileged to recruit designers and i've seen that one big mistake many people make is not having a great portfolio and how do we define a great portfolio why is portfolio so important let me start from there the reason why your portfolio is very very important is because your portfolio is what does the talking for you your portfolio is what tells people that you are a credible person for this particular position it's your portfolio that does that especially if you are trying to enroll for jobs or join a particular company or agency or anything the portfolio you send out matters a lot you have to pay more attention to that portfolio your portfolio is primarily your word of the mouth your 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 verification that you are qualified for a particular position now the fact that we prioritize value uh, money over our value is not making us to represent ourselves as the value that we have you can be of high value and yet you can sell yourself short i've said this thing multiple times you can be of great value but the way you represented yourself made people think that you are not so much of value is because you sold yourself short so how can you stop selling yourself short that's what i want to teach you using your portfolio now i'm just going to go straight to the point because i know that this video is going to be uploaded number one key thing your portfolio can help you sell yourself even way more than you present yourself one thing i realized was they could not copy my portfolio because it had a distinct uh, uh uniqueness because i infused my personality inside of it that that leads me to my point one for you to effectively sell or get clients with your portfolio you have to learn how to infuse your personality in your portfolio i've said this before that if you want to get clients to work with you currently they check your personality as much as they check your work the pictures you post the way you talk about yourself they check those things so your portfolio should also carry such things it should carry your personality if you know you don't want to sell yourself short, stop posting things that will sell yourself short. You are a, you are a, you are a service provider. People will check you once in a while. In fact, let me even give you a gist. Anytime you apply for any job, whether it's remotely or on site, and it's a company, let me tell you what they do. They will go and research all of your social media handles. 
all of your comments they want to see the kind of person you are because they know you are skillful there are so many skillful people out there the people that last are people that are of good character and good personality that's why they check your personality your your personality in this current time is like a verification that yes this person is skillful and this person has the personality to match up with the skills that we are looking for one key factor they even find from is are you teachable can you learn can you accept your mistakes these are things we check when we want to recruit people so in your portfolio you should carry your personality talk about yourself who who you are what you do your hobbies uh some 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 funny things that people are supposed to know about you things that build a relationship between the person who is viewing your portfolio and you talk about your work process that's part two your work process some people want to know how you work they know you are skillful okay how do you carry out this project can you tell us your work process so when you want to highlight the projects you've done what you do is called case study a case study is simply a process at which you achieved something that's the meaning of a case study so if i tell you how did i design dimension logo why did i rebrand my case study was the name creative community then was not serving me well because i knew it was attached to my personal brand and i don't want it to be attached to my personal brand i want people to know my own personal brand for myself not for dimension or for creative community and again we were transitioning into a full-time academy meaning that i'm not just going, going to be the only one who's going to be teaching here other people can come in it can exist without me so it needs to transcend beyond me how did i approach this and how did i get the name okay the first name i got was eight labs academy then in the process of trying to design the eight labs academy i got the name dimension and i was like wow this is a great name but it, it, it cannot just be dimension on its own because there's already a brand called dimension so i thought okay i'm going to call it dimension learning academy but i'm not going to put the learning academy on the official name it's going to be registered at dimension learning academy but it's just going to be dimension to the public on the website it's going to be learning academy at the footer side that's my case so then in the process of trying to design the logo the reason why the logo is like this is because i wanted to have the the word dimension the two key factor words um letters d and m dimen, dimension so i have to infuse that letter inside of the d the logo did not take me more than 15 minutes to create yeah these things i'm saying is case study you are taking the client on a journey to understanding the process behind your work when they know that case study and they listen to what you you wrote there it will help them to value your work the reason why clients are not seeing value in your work is because you just go straight to the point you just post your work like that no talk about the process how did you achieve this especially when you are presenting uh all you, you are trying to pitch a proposal to a client you need to talk about the case study if you say you want to rebrand a particular business and you pitch them a pdf case study um, per, um, work or the redesign of the logo and you send it to them and you do not put case study you do not put why i promise you they will not get that logo they will not use